Hi, this is Mr. Dovecchio from Collective Commission School. Um, I was asking some of the kids about what they think and what they know about uh, the end of the world. We have a new documentary coming out about uh, December 21st, 2012, uh, the day when the world is going to end. We have um, scientists talking about uh, uh, some of the things that might be happening at the end of the world. I asked some of my students about what they think about, uh, about this topic. Is the world going to end? What does the Bible say? And uh, do they believe in the Bible? They know the Bible. And uh, I asked some other questions like, uh, do you really believe that Christ is going to come? And uh, how Christ is going to come? I also asked them questions about, uh, um, why don't you go to church? And um, I asked them if church is relevant to, to them. And uh, I recorded some of the answers, and uh, I, hope, uh, I hope you enjoy it. I believe there is a lot that we can all learn about young people, and uh, how they, they too and do love the Lord, but uh, sometimes we have to find um, effective ways to communicate with them. I was approached by the church to bring a message that um, I feel is important to talk about it, but this message was supposed to be addressed uh, more toward young people in church, and that uh, these are the answers um, that some of these kids um, reported. I hope you enjoy it. I think that Jesus is coming soon. You believe Jesus is coming soon, yes. Yeah, because the, all the prophecies are coming true. I think, yes, because everything has to come to an end. I read it, I've seen it, uh, it happens every day. Okay, you, you, you say that it happens every day. Alex? That there's going to be a lot of earthquakes, storms, and volcanoes. Yes. Okay. Is there a fake Christ is coming? Yes, Isaac. There will be wars and famine. Wars, famine, what else? Uh, <laughs> yes, Diego? False, False Christ, Christ, wars, what else? Earthquakes. In order to pay something, you'll have to get like 666 okay. on your forehead or here or so, somewhere. Yes, Daniela. The Bible fifth? Yeah, yeah Magic calendar and soon in 2012. So the Maya calendar <laughs> talks about the end of the world in 2012, yeah. not the Bible. But it's not true. No one knows. It's not true. You believe it's not true. Is it biblical? Is it in the Bible? Yeah. Yes, Elmer? Chinese also predicted the world was going to end in 2012. Very good. Also Merlin, the real Merlin. No, I'm not. I'm serious. There were actually also Merlin. He also predicted the world would end in 2012. I don't think we're gonna, it's going to end in 2012 because um, because the Bible never predict what, what day or time it was going to end up the world. Yeah. They're all interested in the end of the world. Why? Why are young people interested in the end of the, end of the world? Because I'm scared. Because you're scared. Yeah. You don't... Not, all Not all young people are interested. Are you interested in the end of the world? Why? Because well, um, the Bible says, and well, I believe in the Bible. You believe in the Bible? So you think it's important to know about the end of the world? Yes. So even young people want to be, to be saved. Yeah. Do young people want you to be saved? Yeah. Do you want do young people I need to see your hands. Do young people really yeah. want you to be saved when Jesus yeah. comes? Yeah. Okay. So, happen. Guys, the, something doesn't make sense. You have you accept Jesus, you believe he's God, but you're scared of him. Why? Is it possible that we are making you guys scared? Am I making you guys scared right now by talking about this? By talking about the end of the world. Nee. Yes, I don't know. The Bible says we should be scared. We should? The Bible says we should be scared. Yes. Okay. We should be prepared of God to respect Him. Okay. And how? how? How can He be prepared? Oh, by by um, doing 
what you're supposed to do. Do you know what you're supposed to do? Bible. What is supposed to be doing? Um, being baptized, read the Bible, uh, go to church. Go to church, being baptized. Accept God. I'll give you guys a little note. Accept God. Accept God, accept being Jesus. Be away from bad stuff and uh, do good things. Is that right? Believe yes. Believe in God. Believe in God. Yeah. yeah. Which God? The only one. Which God? There are so many gods out there. Which one? Which one? Is God the Father. Jesus. Jesus. Son. Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit. Believe in the Holy Spirit. The Godhead. The Trinity. Okay. Most important thing and how you get prepared is have the Lord in your heart. Oh, tell them to watch the movie, The Final Event. Do you have it? Yes, I have it. Okay, can you share with somebody? Yes. Okay, we can share with somebody. Uh, what is this movie, The Final Event? What is that movie all about? Yes. It talks about what's going to happen in the end of the world. I know this is bad and this is mean, but it's so boring. Church is boring. Yeah. Ulysses. Why do you need to go to church to learn about yes. Because some of the people in church treat you bad. Mm -hmm. Some people in church treat you bad, okay? Yes. Sometimes the worship is boring. They're Sometimes like, worship uh, is boring. Yeah. I used to go to church, but I stopped going because the, the pastor, every time he told about God, he, he would always scream out that if we, if, that we, were, we would all go to hell and, and stuff like that. Interesting. Interesting. It has to be interesting. Because if it's, if it's boring, you don't want to participate. If it's boring. Uh, play about it, I don't know. You could get people and tell, like, the way people acting, how reacting, like, the so. Yes, no, no. 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 Because. Because it's boring? Because it's boring? Church, is not, question, a, church is not appealing to young people? Yes, because they, sometimes the church makes some activities that may be like, important to young people or fun. So they, you got, they have to make like activities. For, what's it called? Everything they say is just for the, for the adults. How can we talk about the end in a good way then? That you need to end your life in a good way? This is this. How many of you believe that you are ready for the end of the world? If the, the world ends today, are you ready? Are you saved? Do you believe God is going to save you? No. no. Why not? Because, because, because all the sins we have. Because they're in the Bible saying to so me. adult no. people don't have any sins? Adult people don't have any sins then? Because yes. they seem to be ready. No. Yes, Diego. All the people have sins because they all of the people must be on and have done bad stuff. Everybody has done bad, but why don't you guys think then um, that you guys are ready? How many of you love Jesus? How many of you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Why then you were scared of the end? My last question is this. If you knew that God is going to come or the end of the world is going to take place in December 21st, 2012, what would you do differently if you knew it for sure God was coming? Yes, Diego. I'll change my attitude and everything. Change your attitude? What would you do differently if you knew God is coming for sure? I'm going to Christ. Going to church. You start going to church? But you said church is boring. I did. Oh, somebody else said. <laughs> yeah, be happy, be cheerful. Be cheerful. You don't have to go to church to actually, you know, be safe. Because there can be people that say they're religious and go to church and everything, but they might not even really think of it. They just go because they go. They don't really get, they don't really want to go. It's just go because, you know, they think that because they go to church. But I don't, I think that if you believe in him and you, do follow the commandments and everything. I don't believe that you have to go to church. Oh At first, like, for like, ask him to forgive all my sins. Okay. And then, like, I try to live like my last, like, years of my life, like, as best as I can, trying to always do the right thing. Start helping people, giving money to the poor.